Our PAX Prime 2014 coverage is brought to you by HyperX Gaming Products. Make sure you click their logo to check out the great gaming content on their YouTube channel, as well as Phantom Glass, the ultimate Gorilla Glass screen protector for your mobile device. So I'm actually only here at PAX Prime 2014 for one day because there is one booth that has everything going on that I absolutely had to cover. So we're here at Intel where they're launching not only three new CPUs, but also a brand new chipset. And finally, they are launching, well, actually, I don't know if they're launching that, but uh, <clears throat> they've got some PCI Express SSDs over there as well that we are going to check out. So inside this box right here is the all new and I'm going to try and get this right. Intel new fourth generation Extreme Edition processor 5960, okay, whatever. We're going to call it Haswell E because that's what I've been calling it for the last six months already anyway. And it's the 5960X. This is an octal core. And I thought it was going to be octo, but apparently it's octal according to IDA64. So there you go. It's an octal core processor that runs at three gigahertz base and supports DDR4 memory running on the X99 platform. That means that when it comes to an absolute ultimate performance machine, whether from a gaming perspective or from a content creation or even from a workstation perspective, this is pretty much it. Of course, you're going to have to pay a pretty penny in order to get that quad channel DDR4 support as well as native support with no PCI e splitting for up to 8x, 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 8x quad GPU operation. Now, the obvious question here, guys, is what does anyone actually need an 8-core CPU for? To which I would reply, Great question. Because we can't, no, no, I'll come up with a different reason. Actually, aside from gaming, where most games are really limited to anywhere from one to four actual threads of utilization, you could make the argument you don't really need it. But multi-core has always been about multitasking. Even when the first dual cores came out, I've heard that same argument as time has gone on. Well, as gamers, we only need this many cores. Well, it depends what you want to do in the background. So we're actually going to have a video coming up soon where not only will we be streaming while gaming, but we're also going to look at can you render and output video at the same time as gaming when you have this kind of horsepower. Now, the Extreme Edition, as always, is pretty darn expensive, but don't worry, you're not locked into just that one. They've got the 5930K as well as the 5820K, which are both six cores now, completing what is, in my mind, the most sensible CPU lineup that Intel has had in years. You've got the mainstream platform, which is your quad core, and up to PCIe 8x, 8x for dual card operation in SLI or Crossfire X. Then, you pay a little bit more now, and you get up to a six core on a much more robust platform. It is an extremely exciting time. And now we're popping over to something that's not actually a product release. I mean, this is just the P3700. It's got an Intel controller on it. It's got a PCIe 4X interface. It's got EMLC, so that's enterprise grade MLC NAND on it. And um, this isn't new at all, but I guess if we were to kind of, you know, infer based on that inside a consumer grade system, you know, Intel, who's always so careful about the positioning of the products, well, this one is mainstream, and this one is enthusiast, and this one is gaming, they went and threw this in what appears to be an enthusiast gaming PC. So maybe, maybe we can draw some kind of conclusion about what the truly next-gen SSD platform is going to be. Is it going to be SATA Express? Is it going to be M.2? Or are we going to be looking at some kind of product that's PCI Express based that delivers enterprise grade performance in a desktop? I guess there's only one way to find out. By the way, I, I just, I have to do this. They told me it doesn't work and told me to throw it on the ground. So, um, if anyone's going to get in trouble, it should be this guy. All right, guys, don't miss any of our PAX Prime 2014 coverage. Our trip to the show is brought to you by HyperX as well as Phantom Glass. Check out the HyperX gaming channel on YouTube. So that's youtube.com slash Kingston HyperX. They've got some great content over there. And as for Phantom Glass, well, they make some pretty badass screen protectors. If we put one of those Gorilla Glass screen protectors on this SSD, even if it was a working sample, I could probably drop it. Although I'm sure Intel wouldn't be happy if I, if I dropped a working sample. Can I drop this one? I'm getting the no. All right then.